Hi friends. So we are back from our big long vacation road trip and we've been home like four or five days and we're gonna go camping. <laughs> so we had planned a camping trip with um, our sister and brother-in-law for this weekend even before we scheduled our big long road trip. So we're gonna stick with it even though we've only been home about four days and we're just gonna go. But as I'm planning and packing and prepping for it, I thought I would show you what we're gonna feed all of us for the next, I mean, it's only three days and we're going camping kind of close. It's about an hour from our house. Um, but I was gonna show you the menu that I've planned and the food. I think they'll be, depending on the day and which one of our teenagers are in and out, they will be like 14 to 18 people um, at the campsite with us. So let me just flip the camera around and I'll show you the menu. Okay, so this is just my, you know, nice handwritten menu here. Just what we're gonna have for each lunch and dinner. Well, I guess we're arriving at lunchtime on Friday and we're leaving after breakfast kind of midday on Sunday. So this is what we have. Um, and then I'm just gonna walk you through all the stuff. So we have lots of fruit here, oranges, little watermelons, a bag of apples, um, which we'll just cut up and serve which with the meals. There are bread, like deli rolls for sandwiches and plain bread, because the kids won't really care about the deli sandwiches. Um, crackers, because I'm gonna make a cheese ball as one of our snack things that actually wasn't even on our list. Um, then we just have pretzels, sour cream and onion chips, barbecue chips. And then this big thing of like the little individual bags of Doritos, will be for the walking tacos, which is literally just like a little taco in a bag. Um, so you don't have to use like a plate or anything. Then we just have drinks, I guess, trying not to make you dizzy here, but we have, you know, water and things that'll actually hydrate you other than just soda. Um, then we're gonna do hobo packets one of the nights, which usually uses just either cut up chicken or cut up beef. So this beef is already cubed, but I'm gonna have to cut up the chicken. The hamburgers for the taco, walking tacos. Then we got a bunch of vegetables to go in these hobo packets, which is essentially like a stir fry that goes inside of a foil packet that you cook in the fire. So it'll have like broccoli, potatoes, onions. What else did I get? Bell peppers. Um, oh, and carrots. And then I think I have, I have canned corn somewhere around here that'll go in there too. So then we got you know, all the fun dessert stuff to do s'mores, do it with either Reese's or Hershey's and marshmallows on a graham cracker. Then we have, let's see, let's just go through here. We have avocados and salsa for the walking tacos, mayonnaise for sandwiches. These are just a bunch of different sauces that'll go in those little hobo packets. So teriyaki sauce, hot sauce. We actually really like doing the cut up chicken with a peanut sauce and cashews in it with like bell peppers and broccoli. It makes a really nice like Thai flavored thing. I don't know, you can hear my babies are screaming upstairs. Um, one of the breakfasts we're gonna do are biscuits and gravy and I'm using sage with some pork sausage and I guess I don't have it here because it's in the fridge, but I have like Worcestershire sauce and milk that'll go with that too. Um, I have cream cheese. Cream cheese and green onion because I'm making a cheese ball that also has that and ham in it. Then for breakfast we have bacon and eggs, cheese for the tacos, coffee creamer because I and several of my family members drink coffee during the day. Well, in the morning usually. Then we have tomatoes for the tacos. These kind of hash browns are for the breakfast when we do bacon and eggs, which we'll probably do blueberries with the bacon and eggs that morning. Um, I think that might be all the stuff that I had out here. So that's about it. That'll feed all of us. And we'll probably have leftovers even, but camping and swimming make you really hungry. So I'm sure a lot of this will get devoured. We are going camping and um, this is what our van looks like. We have a mini bike, and a coon hound <laughs> and an air conditioning system and in the back we have a trailer with logs wood <laughs> wood um and a giant rustling mat strapped to the front you can't see it 
But um, yeah. So basically, now it's vertical. <laughs> yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> now basically, that is what um, camping with the Sims. Camping with the Sims is like, and we're meeting our aunt and uncle there. So, everyone say hi. Bye. Everyone say bye. Going. Do it again. I'm gonna win. Is that Eiffel Tower? That's your Eiffel Tower? Yeah. Oh, it's a microphone? You have rocks inside of it? Yeah. You're Iron Man? Because you're glowing? 